Hey guys, welcome back. Modi 101 here. I'm here with other Renee B. Hey guys. And we're back in Awakenings. Picking yep. up uh, pretty much where we left off, so. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say picking on each other. <laughs> picking on each other right where we left off. That sounds right. That sounds right. That sounds right, honey. No. Don't lose that love and feeling. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. Good. Glad to Why hear. Why are you being weird? How pray tell am I being weird? You just are. Wow. <sighs> so we've resorted to name calling, have we? Alright. Okay. Not. Alright. Alright. I see how it is. I didn't name call you. Uh, you called me weird. That's not calling you by a name. It's a you know that my father was killed by a pack of weird. <sighs> it was the 1970s. No, it was not. America was a dark and lonely place. <laughs> Random packs of weirdos just ran the streets. No. My father saw a baby carriage. Pushed out into the middle of the street. By and the what year was this? I told you it was in the 70s. What, what, when? It was around 1970. Anyways. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> what year was that? 1970. Anyways. <laughs> so, so a, a lady had saw the pack of weirdos running through the streets. Uh, by the way, in the 70s, wolves were called weirdos. So I don't know. Maybe that some like kind of clean. Anyways, pack of weirdos running through the streets. A lady goes, yeah. oh, my God. And she does thing where she put her hands on the side of her cheeks like like that would help <laughs> the oh, my God. And then her stroller went out into the street. It was one of those old-timey bassinet with the big wheels, whatnot, mm -hmm. real fancy-looking ones. And my father went out because the, the weirdos weirdly, I, I, well, I guess not weirdly, just that's their thing, <laughs> when they would run through the streets, they would obey all traffic laws. <laughs> so no sidewalks, no running red lights. They were they didn't speed. I mean, they were, weirdly enough, very concerned about the integrity. Of, I guess it was a car insurance thing that they had. To, anyways, so, uh, yeah, so the, the pack of weirdos just running through the streets and um, howling like weirdos do. And uh, my, my father jumped out and, and pushed the carriage out of the way, sacrificing his own life. So, you know, I would think after, you know, three You're years. You're so full of crap. I think after three years. That's what they were screaming when they killed him. Are, <laughs> you are uncouth. Uncouth. <laughs> my Lord. Who hurt you? It was the weirdos, wasn't it? It's was totally the weirdos. No. Do you need redstone root for anything? No, I don't think so. Okay, I'm not getting it. So yeah, that's that's hurtful. Okay. I I feel it's gonna be falling on deaf ears, but it's it's still hurtful nonetheless. Mm. What are you doing over here? Get out of my farm! What do you get out of here? I was using it to to get these things. I need to craft a watering can so that I can spray you like a cat up on the bookcase. <gasps> hey! Stop it! Where is? Uh, hey! 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 Don't get! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You're messing it up. <laughs> Can't have anything nice. <laughs> so, my daughter Pink Cacti has a cat. Yep. That we got. Well, I'm not telling you. You know. Anyways, <laughs> Pink Cacti has a cat, right? Yep. And I'm telling them. I'm not telling you. I know. I know you know. They don't just. So Pink Cacti has a cat, and um, she, we got it as a little little baby kitten, eight weeks old, right? Brought it home, didn't do any of the important stuff you're supposed to do to a cat, right? And uh, so the cat 
went into heat uh, about a month ago. It was uh, short, shortly after Heather visited. So coincidence? No. Um, anyways, yes. and no. Anyways, uh, oh, I don't need that. Um, now I will admit that I've never, to my knowledge, had a cat in heat. So, at least not any time recently. So the cat pretty much just walked around the house screaming with its butt in the air. Okay. Yep. Now, I do the same thing, but it's more of a party trick, so it's a more appropriate <laughs> time. This cat just did it all the time. Anyway, just imagine being in a party with me, and I'm just walking through the house screaming with my butt all pooched out. Anyways, listen. <sighs> Linda, listen. Um, the weird She's part that I didn't... watching the setting for. Any Linda. I didn't, you know, I'm, I'm an equal opportunity Linda listener. Anyways. <laughs> so, um, what the hell was I saying? Oh, yeah, cat, pooch butt. Anyways. So, uh, the weird part is, and I did not realize this, cats pick up on pheromones. Yeah, so do okay. dogs. Okay, well, this, I'm, let's stick to one story at a time, honey. So, the thing is, is that in the house, it's me and my two daughters. Which, uh, I, I know how much that sounds like an 80s sitcom, but not <laughs> right now. Anyways, and uh, long story, still long. I mean, it's really not short. Um, this cat, anytime I would leave my room, because the cat's not in the room, because she likes to chew on the wires. Um, anytime I left my room, the cat would just follow me around the house. <laughs> and it super freaked me out. And she would just sc scream and, and butt pooch the whole time. Yep. So the point of my story is now I understand how Cats it is. Cats dig you. <laughs> now, now I understand how it is for the ladies to go to the club. I, I get it now. <laughs> it, I, it makes sense. Okay, we're, we're 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 part of the same team here. That's what I'm, I'm getting at. So mm. I, I felt I felt objectified. <laughs> I felt uh, other feelings that were have a fight in them. I felt those. Um, there's a creeper on your tree. Hey, get uh -huh. down from there. Get down. Don't blow him up. I wasn't blowing him up. I was just scolding him. He's, Anyways, he's shaking his head no at you. He's butthole. <laughs> he learned it from watching you. <gasps> he did not. He did. He does did. Didn't he? Did not. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I, I was uh, was chased around by a cat. It was super traumatic. <laughs> Cat's not in heat anymore, but uh, I find it very difficult to make eye contact with a cat now. <laughs> Just because we're we're kind of at that point where like. We were like living our lives, but at the same time, like we know, and then we know the other one knows. You know what I'm saying? You be so weird. What? I didn't follow the cat around, going, "Hey, hey, look at my butt! <laughs> hey!" I didn't do that. <laughs> Always taking the cat side on everything. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Every argument I get in with that cat. Heather is always on her side. That is not always. True. She's a what? <laughs> not in... Come again? I think your headset cut out. You were saying? <laughs> Go on. No. <laughs> I had a hopper in one of his chests. Did you steal it? No. Oh, here it is. <laughs> See? <coughs> what? <coughs> what happened? Always blaming me. Now you know how I feel when you take when the When it's your fault? Life. How dare you? <laughs> how double dog dare you? Hey, I got some purifying bath salts. We should we should take <laughs> what? Why was that funny? Oh Lord. What I got where are you? Where are you? <laughs> where are you? I'm up where you left me. <laughs> Look. And don't eat it, because you'll, you'll turn into a zombie. That's why I was laughing. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Those aren't Minecraft zombies. Those are just people on bath salts. I have killed so many innocent people. I didn't grab them. Did you grab them back? Oh, what? Yeah, I haven't. And okay. uh, and the skeletons are just are just uh um in like anorexic people. <laughs> God, I was trying to remember the name of the girls from Full House because that was the joke, and I couldn't remember that. Kate, but, oh, the Olsen twins. Mary Kate Scare, and Ashley. Skeletons are just the, the, the Olsen twins. Same. Why is why, why are these not registering? And then and then uh, creepers are Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> He's creepy. It's fun. We have fun. We have fun, right, hon? We have fun. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I need to make better power. I think I'm gonna work on that because this uh, survivalist generator sucks butts. But let's see. Where is the sterling generator and all this mess? Is it even a quest? There it goes. Why does it show we have a basic capacitor bank? Did we get one of those in something? Uh, I think it was a... I am lagging. I think it was a request... A quest reward. Oh, okay. Yeah, remember? Because I said, what did you get? And you're like, the basic capacitor. I just want to point out that your impression of me is awful. It is. I haven't worked on it. <sighs> <laughs> no, don't put in the time. Just keep... Keep phoning it in, hon. That's fine. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. No. Yes. Oh. No, what, no, what I'm making to dinner? Uh, know what I'm making for dinner tonight? I, I don't know. A, lingu a linguistic? Damn it, I almost said linguine. <laughs> I had a joke. It was a joke about words, and I messed up the one word that made the joke. Go on. What are you, what are you, what are you making? What, Isaiah's what? helping in the kitchen. Helping in the kitchen. Are you joking? Nope. What did I do to you? <laughs> For those that don't know, whenever Isaiah sings that song, we're making homemade chicken tenders. I would make a more... But touching the chicken is ooey. <laughs> My middle son likes to help in the kitchen, like, cooking-wise. But his favorite thing to help make is the homemade chicken tenders. <laughs> and the entire time he's in there, he just dances and says, Help in the kitchen. Help in the kitchen. Help in the kitchen. All right. Kitchen. So, Shadow Wake, did you turn off? Did you get rid of Sterling Generators? You sick, sick monster, you. Yeah, use the crappy ones. I don't want to. Alright, are we at least uh, we're almost full up on power on these two for now. Alright, fine, I'll keep working on the other stuff. <coughs> so the conduits and That's your... weird that it wants me to make the orange tulip before I make the daisy, but the daisy's what I need to make the orange tulip. <laughs> we're living in crazy times, babe. Yep. We're living in crazy, crazy times. Like the times we're living in, honey. <laughs> Are they crazy? They're crazy times. How did you know? <laughs> have you been Have you been reading my diary? Journal. Have you journal? I journal. The one with the little heart lock on it. Yes, that's. Yes, my, that. <laughs> my my uh. My Zek Afron journal. Zach Efron. No, I used to have one that was like passcoded. You had to like say something. Do you remember those back in the eighties? Um, the commercial. You watch TV, so you might have seen the commercial. Okay, it was the I did not. Brother. I did not have a voice command diary in the eighties for two reasons. Reason number one. I was not rich. I didn't say did you have one. I said two. Do you remember. I was a boy. I didn't say did you have one. I said, do you remember? Honey, I haven't been able to find my keys for three days. Do you think that's what you used to watch mean? TV. The commercial was this little, like, pesky boy, like, little brother type. He was always trying to get into the diary, and the, the snobby older sister was like, ha-ha, you can't get in because you don't know the password. And then she whispers, it's, and then whatever it is, you know, butterscotch. You know? <laughs> and then... <laughs> 
you, can we uh, can we pause the video because I want to change all of my passwords to butterscotch, every single one of them. And then like you know the, the little voiceover comes on and tells you that, and then at the end like the little brother's off in the background, you know like kind of blurred out because he's like way in the back with his arms crossed, and the the girl's like laughing as she opens her her diary that's like word pass coded. <laughs> I just made that part up. I don't remember what the password was for. If it. it's not butterscotch, I'm gonna be livid. I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't hear most of that story. Wow. I, I was so entranced with the password of butterscotch. <laughs> Are you sick of that chisel on you? Maybe. What if I give you the password? <laughs> Butterscotch. Come here. Thank you. <laughs> no, I do not remember that. I, I, I'll admit, I don't think I paid clearly enough attention to... Uh, the girl toy commercials. <laughs> uh, or just diary com Oh my god, are you kidding? That's right. Hmm. How the hell did we get glass? Because I just tried to make glass and then I made red glass from sand. No, it's the quite clear glass. That's what I'm trying to get. Oh. Um... Did you Alloy put regular sand in there? Yeah. All right, I guess <coughs> I got to put three sand in the alloy smelter. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got... There was a... We have two sand. Wonderful. Oh, my God. <laughs> nope, that sand's down. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, that is a good... Good time. I'm going to tell you that right now, kids. Oh, that makes me happy. Right, I got to get one. I got to go I out. Got, I'm getting sand. I heard that. Heard what? I was writing something in my journal. Stop listening. <laughs> February something something. Heather somehow used a commercial from the 1980s to figure out my password to my journal. <laughs> I have had this journal now for 35 years. I have lost the instructions and I have to change it. <laughs> so this will be my last entry as I need to burn this because this book holds all my secrets. Oh, whatever. I love you, Zach Efron. <laughs> How's that sand coming, hon? It's coming. Here. Thank you. Well, I'm out. I'm gonna miss that journal. It helped me through some rough times. I did it now. Every once in a while, I just needed someone to talk to, someone to listen to me, and, you know, I'd walk over to it, and it would just go, and I'd be like, stop making... <laughs> uh, that's what you would uh, say to your journal <laughs> maybe no I would go to my journal and be like journal I've had a rough day I need to, I need to write something in you and then it would lovingly tell me wrong passcode wrong passcode <laughs> and I'm telling you that right there that got me through so 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 many rough rough nights <laughs> what was that I'm counting <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to make an orange one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see what it's doing, okay. Alright. There with that. We are <coughs> starting to sneak up on the end of this one, hon. Yay! I have to do some major, major, major organization in here. Mm -hmm. This place is disgusting. <laughs> you know what that makes me say, don't you? What? Wrong passcode, wrong passcode. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait. 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 So did you have one of these? Uh... I did. Do you still have it? I don't think so. I need you. I to mean, find... not with me. I need... well, I didn't... Maybe I, I didn't. Now. Okay, all right. I didn't think it was on your person. Like I kind of figured <laughs> that. I didn't mean. I meant like not here. I didn't think you'd be my like. Dad uh, might have it. I thought, yeah, because I was expecting. It you'd might be, like... be with all with all my GI Joes and my little ponies and stuff up in the attic of Dad's house. <sighs> what? I want those GI Joes. <laughs> He's only with me for my GI Joes, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, I don't hear anybody watching thinking that I'm in the wrong on this one. What? But they're mine. I thought everything that's yours is mine and mine is yours. The hee hee. You're only in it for the G.I. Joes, though. That was uh, the first question he asked when we got together. Not what's your name? No. No. Do no. you have any old GI Joes from back in the day stored in your dad's attic? Why, yes, I do. <laughs> You're my girlfriend. And then I was like, "All right, hold on a second. The rest of you can leave. <laughs> you can leave your applications and headshots on the table, but it doesn't matter." <laughs> Wait, hold on. Do any of you guys in your dad's uh, attic have the USS flag from GI Joe? No, no. All right, you guys can go. You guys can go. I don't have that one. You don't know. You might have. I'm, I'm assuming there was your room was so big and filled with toys. There were parts of your room you never got to. <laughs> I think I would notice <laughs> an eight foot long boat. <laughs> Not if it was on the east wing of your room. Oh my god. <laughs> it was. It was blocked by the butler's quarters, which was basically just a uh, rainbow. <laughs> one of those rainbow bright uh, bed tents. We did not have a butler. Do you remember bed those bed tents? Like they, yes. would, they were like the size of a twin size bed. I had a camouflage one, and I used to be so tired at school because I would stay up all night rubbing my finger on it, pretending I was a DJ. <laughs> all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. What? Questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comments section. Rub your finger on a tent. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Put in the comments <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, whoever's view you're watching, whoever's view you're watching, make sure you watch the other channel down below. My there, hit the like subscribe button. If you want to come hang out in these shenanigans on the weekends while we do this live over on Twitch, go check out the Twitch link down below. Make sure you hit that follow button and then uh, also hit the turn the notifications on so you guys get notified when we're streaming. If you guys want to help support us while hanging out with us on the server and uh talking to us in the discord while meeting some really cool new friends you can do that by becoming a patreon check the patreon link down below for all that information uh if you want to get one-stop shopping for all the squad links all you got to do is go to the squad.tv that's the squad.tv has all the links for everybody in the squad plus some other useful information if you're always, if you're ever looking like oh, i want to play mod pack when there's anything that's good that doesn't suck and is complete Go check out the uh, squad, uh, the squad mod packs, the squad packs that are on there. Lots of things. So, and uh, lastly, if you guys want to get your very own Minecraft server, you, you can do that uh, by heading over to Aim to Game using the link down below. So you know you're coming from the squad. Use a coupon code to save yourself some money. And until the next episode, we want to thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time. Butterscotch. Bye. <laughs> that was wonderful. <laughs>